Hey everybody, uh, Ryan Coop here uh, with another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Fuzzy, uh, the penguin character in Zumba. So I'll show you guys uh, how I run mine, uh, some tips and tricks uh, that I've learned with using Fuzzy. So first thing we'll do, we'll look at items. Um, so vampire teeth and snorkel. Uh, and adrenaline shot and cluster bomb. Those are all uh, for me must haves with fuzzy. Other people will use different setups. Uh, for me, vampire teeth, very important. Fuzzy's health is pretty low, so if you deal damage, you want to get that damage back. Snorkel is very important uh, to get away uh, from some characters that can do a lot of damage to fuzzy pretty quickly. Adrenaline shot. Uh, so that way if you're taking shots from another animal, uh, you don't have to worry about clicking on your health pack. And then Cluster Bomb, absolute must, uh, because when you shoot once, uh, and then you have that second round of bombs go off, you can get two shots for the price of one there with Fuzzy. So, that's how I like to run my Fuzzy. So we'll, we'll get into some gameplay and I'll show you guys some different situations. Uh, hopefully we'll run into them uh, where I can show you how each one of those is effective. So we'll run some solos and uh, here we go. So I personally just start wherever uh, it leaves me. I don't really like to spawn next to people with Fuzzy because that can be bad. So one thing with Fuzzy is when you're sliding, uh, you want to practice and get really good at picking up items without having to stop. Uh, just keep spinning, that's going to become really important. So that way if somebody comes, now these guys are just going to pop up here. This is why I really like the snorkel, so you can get away from them. You to stay protected, you don't have to worry about these bombs a whole lot. Now when I do attack, uh, with Fuzzy here. There's a certain order that I like to attack in. And so that order is spear, bomb, and then bow. Uh, reason for that, and I'll show you here on this Nyx, hopefully he doesn't get us so spear. It's gonna auto aim, bomb, and then you can take time to really uh, aim your bow. And try and get rid of this guy here too. He's gonna go for that health pack. His bomb. So you can see as I was dealing some uh, damage to him there, <clears throat> I was getting some health back. So you want to be careful with the buck, so we're just going to pop out spear, bomb, bow. That is my preferred method with Fuzzy to shoot. Uh, you just get close enough to have that spear, it's going to hit them, it's going to really slow them down. Uh, then the bomb, you're going to be able to get two hits on him, because uh, that's going to go off. And then you have time to aim your bow. So if you shoot the bow first, you got to stop, you got to aim. leaves you susceptible uh, to being attacked from a character. So biggest thing is when you get close to them, is you want to start landing some hits right away. So this Molly, we're gonna wait for her to quit jumping, get close enough. Oh there, we're gonna wanna be careful for that Molly. Alright, so here's some good items. One thing is when you get hit, when you're sliding, uh, it really slows you down. to try to avoid that. We're going to avoid these bombs. we going to be a lot more comfortable uh, fighting these guys by the water. So with Fuzzy, I like to just kind of hang out by the water, pop out, see that spear bomb bow. With Molly and Nyx, that can be a little tough. The good thing with the spear too is you can see I can aim this while I'm sliding. The bow is going to stop me from sliding. So really get your target in, in there, it's 
on us. Stop him from getting that legendary bow. And this is going to become really important. So he's quick. Uh, the fox is quick. So. So Fuzzy's great. If you can land consistent hits on people, you really slow them down. Um, and you can come out on top. Just like that. So, again, overall strategy, and I can't say this enough about Zumba, it's not about how many kills you get, it's about how many trophies you earn. So you can see, we only had three kills that whole game. Uh, we had the first two kills uh, to get our health backs, uh, and then we killed the last guy to win the game. Um that's really all you need. Uh, <laughs> I've won lots of them with just one kill, especially with fuzzy and kind of sneak in there, circle around on a health back and steal a health back from somebody, especially if it's a slower animal uh, and slow them down. So we got 12 trophies on our fuzzy for that one. Awesome, got a gold crate. That's always nice. Let's do another one here. <laughs> So I always like to do at least three of these uh, solo runs when we make the video that way. So I don't like how close that fox or the uh, duke is getting to us. So we're going to put some separation between us. Because if he stuns me and picks up a bow right away, uh, we're pretty much done. <laughs> right, so we got some guards here, so that's going to be good. Just if I can circle around this thing, jeez. So we don't have a spear, we're gonna want that. We're gonna take this bomb and try to get out of here. Okay, so we got a pepper over here. Alright, so we got no health packs out of all that. This pepper, we got a spear, bomb, bow, connected there. So this water is gonna really protect us here. We get across first, it's perfect. Great thing with the snorkel too is I can pick up these items and I don't have to worry about uh, taking any damage at all. So it's one of the other great benefits of the snorkel. We're gonna... All right, so we're gonna try to get this bomb. We'll get out of there. We don't want to take that damage. All right. So somebody's in here. Let's see who this is. Alright, so you can see, uh, very quick, uh, really four hits in there. Uh, because we do the spear right away, throw the bomb, and then shoot the bow. Um, spear gets one hit, the bomb is two hits with that cluster bomb, and the bow is another one. So you can get four hits on somebody right away, uh, and take someone out pretty quick. So we'll do it again on this guy here. We just want to make sure he's not pointed at us uh, because that's going to mess up our whole game if that happens. So, miss with the bow. Right. So, I really want this golden bow here. I don't think we're going to have time to get it. Yep. So see, you take a hit, slows you down. Um, if you're close to water, when you take a hit, okay, you can just go right into the water. So this guy is draining off our health here. We need to do something about that. We'll get a little bit back. He did cause us to use a health back, so we're going to get this one from the fox. It'd be really nice if we can get this. So you can see one hit from... Uh, that buck, the level 9 buck, drained off from health pack. Um, right away. So, there we go. Alright, so we got that guy. I do not know who we are in the showdown with. Um, so we're gonna kinda wait for them to show themselves. Um, what we don't want it to be is a duke, uh, 
those fuzzies against Dukes. That's a Steve, so that's... Alright. There we go. Right. He had no health packs, and his health was already down, so... <clears throat> Not too bad. Uh, whenever we got some separation from somebody there, um, you know, the spear, bomb, bow rule kind of goes out. You want to go straight to the bow. You don't have to worry about them, uh, you know, attacking you. They're not close enough, and it gives you that little bit of extra range, too, which becomes very important if, if they're far away. All right, so we got a bronze toolbox that time. One more here. Uh, see if we can go three for three. So the the big thing is all is just about knowing knowing what's around you and knowing when you can stop your slide uh, with fuzzy. Uh, if you stop your slide, uh, you got somebody too close to you that can do a lot of damage real quick, like a buck or a lion. Uh, Lions, bruises, and bucks are probably the thing that uh, scares me the most when I am playing fuzzy. Alright, so this Lizzie looks like she's probably pretty low on health here. Should help back. There we go. Alright, so we're going to need to get away because that Larry, if he would have connected with us closer on those, uh, he would have for sure killed us. A lot of people, um, you know, they, they complain about the matchmaking, and you know, I agree that some characters definitely have an advantage when I'm a level 12 fuzzy and you know, a level 16 rolls through, it, it is hard to uh, compete against them. However, uh, as you can see, you know, right now, if we get 12, we're gonna lose seven trophies, whereas that level 16, uh, their trophy count should be. where if they finish in 12th place they're gonna lose like 20 trophies um, right, so this one is not we're gonna have to really figure some stuff out here if we are gonna make it to the end I have zero health I uh, do have so talk to you guys about the, the white flag thing here too so you see a lot of people white flagging um That you don't really know. So this person, uh, he's in my clan. Uh, shout out to G up. So I'm gonna avoid his bombs, uh, but he, in this situation here, he's gonna end up probably having to carry me. Ooh. We got lucky there. Uh, and there we go. All right, so. That's where, uh, <laughs> that's where you have that disadvantage with Fuzzy. I thought that kangaroo coming up was, uh, was one of my allies in my clan. Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, couldn't get the health back in time. Couldn't start sliding in time. So it was really just a sitting duck for someone to come pick me off. Uh, I should have not stopped sliding there. Um, so that was a mistake on my part. And, uh did not go very well. So one of the things I always like to do as well, uh, especially after someone kills me, or I like to, to just watch the rest of the game um, and kind of see, you know, what's their strategy. Um, Want to see where they finish, right? Um, kind of see who's left and, and just what's going on in the game here, so. You can see that uh, this was a level 10 uh, Molly killed my level 12 fuzzy no problem uh, ran up on me and I was done uh, real quick so if I'd uh, well there we go shout out to Boz Gibb uh, for winning that one alright so we lost one trophy 
not too bad. Cannon 7. Uh, my fuzzy's low, uh, pretty low on the trophy count, so. Alright, let's do one more. Uh, we'll get one more in here, and then uh, take it from there. So, Legendary Guard, it's always nice to start next to them. However, uh, I have been killed by the Legendary Guard with my fuzzy before because fuzzy does not have a lot of power. Hopefully, we can catch this buck real quick in here. Scare him off. Need a weapon to reload. No, nope. come on. We got it. He's got that coffee. Alright. We didn't take too much damage. The shark is coming for us. That. He's gonna try and hunt us down. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna try and get away from him because that is gonna be a losing battle. I'm gonna just choose not to fight. So we need to be really careful. There we go. Uh, that's <laughs> exactly why uh, I need to be careful with Fuzzy. So my health is kind of low, no health packs out in the open. Uh, you're you're exposed. Um, I needed some better weapons though, so it's a calculated risk you have to take. Didn't work out. Only got 13th that time. Uh, I'm gonna lose some trophies. That was eight. We lost. All right, so we lost one the other time, so that's nine. All right, so let's see if we can't uh, get a first place and get those trophies back. So, in my opinion, Fuzzy, you have to be a. Uh, you know, I like to play Fuzzy defensively um, and not super aggressive. I can get a little more aggressive once you got some health backs, but uh, Fuzzy doesn't have a whole lot of health, uh, so we're gonna really wanted that bomb, but we just come over here. So I'm gonna choose my battles. I can still get the same weapon without sacrificing myself there to this buck. bomb real quick that should get him. Alright, perfect. So, two health packs, really. I should be sliding here and circling because I don't know who's gonna come running up on me. Especially with the mollies like you saw in the, uh, one of those last, the second to last game there. She came up on me in a hurry and there's not much I could do. Now, Bruce's, when you're fuzzy, you can pretty much, uh, siphon off everything they got without too much problems. They're really slow, so Fuzzy's gonna slow them down. You do have to watch out though if they have jungle shoes because that's gonna make them move much quicker. So whenever I see a Bruce, pretty much just take them out. Perfect. And then, so Bruce's and Turtles uh, both always have this little extra boost to your health thing. Um, so anytime you see a Bruce or a Turtle that's down, my suggestion, always wait and get that extra uh, little health. So we do have a Duke over here. Uh, if he's got jungle shoes, he's going to be able to run up on us real quick. kind of want to see where he's at. So that's a great thing with fuzzies, you can really avoid. So he's got the legendary bomb, so that's bad. If he catches us in a uh, roar, uh, it's really much over for us. That legendary, so we're just gonna take uh, this way here. So one of the things we're trying to do here, avoid all of that, get to this water, so. So the water allows a couple different things. One, it protects you. It allows you to change the tempo of the game. Uh, and you dictate how fast or how slow the game is going. Uh, that is something that becomes ultimately important. Just as in any sports that you play, um, anything at all, the tempo 
Uh, if you dictate the speed of the game, you have a better chance for survival. I know that was so close. Uh, really wish we had a bow. Oh, we got two dudes. Alright, so. We are going to try to avoid the Dukes uh, and let them duke it out. And then we'll go in for the kill at the end there. Because we're not going to stand a chance if they stun us. Uh, we do have two health packs. Here comes this guy. Yep, and I'm guessing we're done here. Yep. So, there you go. Um, so the Duke is one thing you definitely want to watch out for, especially when you're sliding around. Uh, when I first got Shelly, I would just slide all over the place. I figured she was so fast, I'd get away from anybody. Um, however, you do not want to be sliding through bushes and run across a duke and have them stun you, because uh, it's over your side. Two health packs um, got caught in the, in the roar. Um, and I was there and it drained off all my health and I was done uh, with two health packs. So went from as much health as I could possibly have to dead uh, in a matter of a second. So you want to avoid them at all costs. That, that is my, my suggestion there. So we got four back from what we lost before. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we'll take it. Looks like Jihad is... Uh, Wanted to run a duo here. We're going to do that in a minute. <clears throat> so, uh, so that's that's what I got for you guys on Fuzzy. Again, not every item's right for every person. This is just something that works for me. Um, I really enjoy Fuzzy a lot, uh, mainly because how how quick uh, you know Fuzzy is, and then you can really slow down the gameplay and it gives you time to think and strategize. Um, you can see in that last game with that, that Duke, uh, he ended up going pretty deep into the fire probably to get a health pack uh, because we drained a lot off of him because we were able to slow him down, keep him away. Uh, but as soon as he got close enough to us, it was over for me. So bushes can be dangerous for her. Um, so I uh, just want to give a quick shout out uh, to everybody in the Rebels. Um, absolutely love that clan. Uh, one thing I do want to let you guys know, uh, is that, uh, we have created, the Rebels 3, so, let's see how many spots we got open for you guys here, so, we got quite a bit of spots open. Um, so we created this, this is really our academy clan, so there are no trophy requirements, uh, if you want to be a part of the Rebels family, this is where you get in. Uh, you can have one trophy, you are in, uh, you're gonna run, uh, duos with everybody in the other clans, uh, we're gonna really help you, support you, uh, so that way we can help you become a, a better player, um, and I'm sure along the way we're gonna learn some things from you too. Um, so if you guys like the video, uh, please subscribe. I'll have some more coming out soon here. Um, happy to help you guys out in any way I can and, uh, happy hunting.